YouTube salute. Here with my spoiler free review for X-Men Dark Phoenix. This is a story of one of the X-Men's most beloved characters, Jean Grey, as she evolves into the iconic Dark Phoenix during a life-threatening rescue mission in space. Jean is hit by a cosmic force that has transformed her, transforms her into one of the most powerful mutants of all. Wrestling with this increasingly unstable power as well, her own personal demons. Jean spirals out of control, tearing the X-Men family apart and threatening to destroy the very fabric of Earth. The film is the most intense emotional X-Men movie ever made. It is the culmination of the 20 years of X-Men movies and the family movies we've come to know, must love to say goodbye to. And this is the last film under Marvel Fox. So they just wanted to release this. The movie is an hour and 54 minutes. Um, does it feel like an hour and 54 minutes? Yeah, and it drags through, which it actually irritates the hell out of me. Um, it has a 23% score on Rotten Tomatoes the last time I checked. Oh, my God. Man, I'm glad the X-Men are at Marvel Studios, MCU. Kevin Foggy is going to make sure he revamped the entire um, roster and start over from the beginning besides Deadpool. Um, yeah, this, this movie right here sucks, man. Um, I had, I had low expectations, so I'm not going to lie to you. And I didn't going to not sit here and be like, oh yeah, you know, the movie's going to do this. I didn't know what the hell was going to happen. Um, there's only like one good action scene in there to me that I felt like, oh, that's tight. That's tight. Besides that, from the reshoots they did, you can tell towards the end how they actually, um, incorporate the reshoots and it kind of threw off the like the tone um the characters don't get me wrong they can act but storm i can't wait till they recast storm i do not like alexandria's ship no get rid of her um cyclops boo boo stain um what's his name quicksilver it's time for him yeah he, he needs to go um what's his name um Nightcrawler, that's one of my favorite characters. I'll, he needs to be recast. Um, Charles Xavier and Magneto. I like the Charles Xavier and Magneto, the young version, but you can, it's, they can need to go. Um, Mystique, you can tell she don't even want to be there because she's willing to do other projects now. So I guess, you know, they want to do something with her character, but I'm not going to spoil that. Jean Grey, her, her character is decent, but like I said... Um, I'm just thankful that this 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 um, movie is coming to an end because it's just it's just like they're wasting time. They're wasting time. I think they should have never released this movie at the movie theater. They should have just let this movie come out like on Netflix, and everybody could have just had they you know just save money or just scratch it. I don't know when or how the X Men will be introduced until. The Marvel Cinematic Universe, Marvel Studios, we don't know, but we will know eventually in the next couple of years or time will tell. Um, if I had to judge or score this movie, I know you want to know. I usually give scores from one out of 10. 10 is the highest, one is the lowest. I'll give this movie a three out of 10. This movie gets a three out of 10. Yes. Yeah, so you, but this below a F. Um, um, the, the, it, it, to me, it, it's just, it's missing. It's missing so many, it's missing so many elements, you know, that I felt that they're just trying to just hurry up and just get it out there so they can, you know, focus on the, the new characters of X-Men, Fantastic Four, whatever, through Fox over at MCU. Number two, one thing about this movie um, is no post-credit scenes. So there's no mid or post-credit scenes because this is it. This is the end of the franchise. No more. We, like I said, 20 years and um, since we've been, you know, looking at X-Men. Wolverine, um, X-Men Origins, Wolverine, and Logan, those are my favorite X-Men movies, if you wanted to know. Um, X-Men First Class, I believe, will fall into that category. After those movies, X-Men First Class, and I would say maybe X-Men United. I like X-Men United that came out in 2003. Yes, X-Men United was tight. Um, First Class came out in 2011. Wolverine came out in 2009. Logan came out in 2017. 
Um, I didn't care for X Men um, Apocalypse. That was garbage. X Men Days of 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 the Future Past. Yeah, that was cool. I mean, I thought it was tight, but it was cool. But like I said, um, this this movie's at the bottom of the barrel. Like I said, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. There's nothing to um, there's nothing to actually be excited about. The only thing I'm excited about is how they're going to recast Wolverine and introduce him in the MCU, and how they're going to recast all these characters: Nightcrawler, Cyclops, um, Jean Grey, Professor X, Magneto, um, Storm, Alexandria Ship. Talking about she don't want to be in Black Panther two. They don't want. They don't need you. You're weak. I want somebody else to play her anyway, though. So f her. <laughs> yeah, I gotta. I gotta watch my mouth. I can't say the words. I can just say the letters because YouTube is um um. You know, go um, going hard on that now, but that's really my spoiler review, spoiler free review. I apologize. You know, there's nothing really. If you want to go check it out, go check it out. I'm not gonna sit here and say don't check it out. You can come back and leave me a comment. Come back and tell me what you felt. But it is what it is. Um, I'm just waiting for Spider Man Far From Home to see. That's the end of Phase Three, and they're gonna know what's gonna happen after that. So this movie, boo boo boo. Post your comments below. Hope smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content. I go live. If you'd like to support and donate to my channel, I have Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Until next time, peace.